Hey guys, Eclipse here, and today I'll just be like speaking off the dome. Uh, I know it's been a minute, but I, I want to talk about um, just plushes. <laughs> I know that's a weird topic, or not weird, but more specifically factory rejects and bootlegs, specifically within the Sonic plush community. Um, I know it's something that the Mario plush community has dealt with for 15, 20 years up to this point, and the Sonic community, we're not new to it but there's a lot of new faces in the community i mean i'm kind of a new face too and i just want to give my two cents on the whole thing i've been gone for a while and i do have a lot of stuff planned coming up all i'm gonna say is the latest expect new content at the latest mid-february but besides like videos like this like sit down and talk because i do have two big videos on the way one I can talk about is going to be a look back at the Sonic the Hedgehog Resource Series 1 set, or Wave 1. Uh, the second video, I can't say much yet, but it is coming. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So, plush, more specifically factory rejects, have been a thing in the Sonic community for the past, I want to say, three to five years, ever since really 2019-2020. Excuse me, is um I believe when they started popping up and around uh, the community, you could most commonly find these uh, plushes on eBay. A few time, a few could be on Mercari though. It's kind of harder to find them on Mercari because Mercari is region locked, so it would generally be someone who bought it off of eBay, reselling them on Mercari. The ones that come to mind when you think about these are the infamous 25th anniversary set, I believe. Either the entire set or Sonic, Tails, and Eggman all got factory rejects slash bootlegs produced. Um, and are still, they're not as relevant today, but you can still find them. Certainly not as cheap as they used to be. They used to be $10, $10 now they're going for $40, $50. Uh, the whole set has gone up in general, the official set, but uh, yeah, so Sonic, Eggman, and um, Tails from the 25th set. And then I also. I remember seeing, um, alongside Tommy, there was the Boom, what are they? The, I wanna say Emoji plushes? It was only a few of them. I think it was just variants of Sonic. I don't know if they ever got released or not. I don't know if they were prototypes or bootlegs, but they were going around a lot. And then I also remember seeing a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, Boom 12 inch Sonics. You can still see a few nowadays, but like I said, a lot of the Tomies, all, all, a lot of these aren't being as produced as they were. And if they are, they're a little more expensive than they used to be. And then I do, uh, one of the biggest ones, one that is honestly like, the, most of the people who own this plush have this version of the plush, is Jazzwares Classic Amy. The Jazzwares Classic Amy plush had a, I don't want to say limited run. I just don't, I, she just didn't sell as much as Sonic Tails, Knuckles, blah, blah, blah. All of them, right? So she has a lot of factory rejects and there's nine times out of ten if you see one um not in the wild because i've not many have been listed re recently but if, sorry about that my mic cut out but um what i was saying was if you see one in like a plush video especially from somebody younger who made the video in the past year or two three years chances are it's one of those um i don't want to say factory reject once again I don't want to say bootleg once again, factory reject Amy's. And that's what leads me into today's video. But the main topic I want to make this video, because recently I've been seeing a lot, and I mean a lot of Sine Amy's go around, and I looked into it, and it wasn't hard for to find this out, but these are being passed off as factory rejects or official, but most of them are being labeled as factory rejects and or official, trying to trick people into buying them and spending close to... I don't want to say retail, because these plushes haven't been in retail for a long time, but close to what an official one of these plushes would cost. And, you know, I'm not no, I'm no moral say or whatever, so I'm not going to say that you can't buy these. You can totally buy these, but I just want to inform people who may not know what they're getting themselves into that these plushes aren't factory rejects, they're bootlegs. And, you know, buying bootlegs isn't always a bad thing. Um, there's a lot of Mario plushes out there that companies either were never thought to make, or people never thought that they'd make them, 
or uh, the official one is just horrible. And uh, bootleggers took it upon themselves to make it, and they actually look pretty good. There was a um, pretty decent Dry Bones Bowser bootleg a few years ago, and Sine eventually did get to him, but at the time, people didn't think Sine was ever going to get to it, so uh, bootleggers went and did it themselves. But these Sine Amy bootlegs, I personally don't own any, so I can't speak on the quality of them, but from what I've seen, they're of decent quality, but I honestly do think you're better off just getting a GE Amy or a Jazzers Factory Reject Amy if for your modern for your Amy blush. Uh, Tomy 8-inch Amy is a really good option and I don't see a lot of people use I used to own her. In fact, it was a really, really good plush. But um yeah, these these aren't these aren't factory reject guys. These are bootlegs. And one of the main ways you can tell is because these I think all of them I've seen have come with when they're new, they've come with tags. And people, I've seen people take these off and try to resell them without the tags, but I've found the original listing for the cheapest possible way to get them. I'll link it in the description. It's on AliExpress. They're about, I want to say $16, $15 USD. I could be wrong. I did see one for $8, but I'm pretty sure it's baseline around $8 to $15 USD. They're on AliExpress. These things come with tags. Now, if you know anything about I don't want to say bootlegs. If you know anything about factory rejects, factory rejects generally don't come with tags. And when they do come with tags, it's like factory tags. Like it says uh, Sonic number 259 or something on the tag. It's it's rare, but it happens. These, but generally, factory rejects won't come with any type of tag, any type of placement, and none of that. They don't come with any of that. These plushes come with, I want to say Jack specific tags. Now, I don't want to say Jack Pacific tags, but they look, they're trying to mimic the style of the Jack Pacific tag. I'll throw up a picture on screen. I have a few Jack Pacific tags. I don't have them on me. I'll throw up a picture on screen. Like I said, I'll try and find them. But yeah, these plushes aren't real, guys. And um, I'm all for supporting factory rejects. I think they're a cool way to get um, limited plushes again. I wouldn't rely on them. Of course, I'd eventually want the official one, but if it was something like 25th Anniversary set where it's a limited run, or those Jazzwares Classic plushes, some of them were limited run. So, getting the Factory Reject, I completely understand that. But I really don't want to see, because I've seen it already. In the week that these things have been out, I've seen it. People mistaking them for official, and there was one guy who almost bought one in some server, I and mean, I, I can't remember the name. But he almost bought it because he genuinely, he genuinely thought, he or she genuinely thought it was the official one. And yeah, I just, I, I don't have a problem with people buying bootlegs. Like I said, again, I'm not trying to make myself morally higher than anybody by not reselling these. But I really don't want to see people who think that they're getting a different product to buy something and then later find out that it's not what they want, because I've been through that. Um, I've been through it a lot. But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to my little ramble. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make more of these types of videos, because I really enjoyed them. Like, I just sat here at my desk. I'm fiddling with a uh, LEGO Dimension Sonic figure and a, just a few plushes that I have at my desk right now. I'm just fiddling with them, talking to the microphone, and it's it's kind of soothing. I know that's kind of weird, but yeah, I've, I've been gone for too long, guys, and I'm excited to show you guys what I've planned. I've let you guys down too many times, and I'm truly sorry for that. 2024 will be my year. I, I promise you. I promise you. Life has been hectic for me these past few months, and that's why I haven't been on YouTube since the summer. But things are, I don't want to say calming down. They're only going to ramp up from here. I just have to work on my time management and my my drive to get things done but yeah thank you guys so much for watching me ramble uh talk to y'all later peace guys